Hello everyone. T today I'm playing the very first Nintendo game I ever played, Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah, I said I was going to do it yesterday, but but I but I had to do it tomorrow, which is today. So, yeah, this was the very first Nintendo game I ever played. What about you? What was the first Nintendo game you ever played? You can comment down below if you want. So one reason I'm playing this is because I have not done any GameCube games yet, and I wanted to see how my my uh, capturing stuff would work. So, so I thought I'd test it by playing Mario Kart. What better game to start than with the game that I first played? The first Nintendo game, I should say. Well, let's get started. I'm gonna do the time trial one. I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, when I first had this game, I didn't have all the unlockable characters, and now I do. Yeah, this is the only Mario Kart that Toad is unlockable in. Yeah, it's also the only Mario Kart you get two characters. I like to use Yoshi and Toadette. This is actually the first game that Toadette first appeared in. Yeah, yeah, she's one of my favorite characters. I thought about doing a, a speed paint of her. You could say that me and Toadette have had the same history with Mario stuff because Mario Kart Double Dash was the first game I played and this was the first game she first appeared in. Yeah. I also didn't have the special cup at first, I only had these three. <clears throat> I think I will start off with one of my favorites, which is Yoshi Circuit. It looks very different in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, so this is the first GameCube game that I'm recording. I've now done a Wii U game, a Wii game, a Switch game, and now a GameCube game. And from everything I'm seeing, it looks like it works. It's actually been a while since I played this game, because with the drifting thing, I I noticed the car wasn't hopping and I forgot this. With this one, the cars don't hop. I might do other Mario Kart stuff soon. I mentioned before, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, that I found my missing Game Boy games and I have the Mario Kart for the Game Boy. Yeah, the, the GameCube and the Game Boy would have to be some of my most favorite systems. I don't actually own a Game Boy, I just have the DS. You've you've seen me use it before. Yeah, but there's a lot of GameCube games I like. Yes. Mario Kart Double Dash here. I like Pikmin of course. That's that's one that's definitely the reason why I want to play Mario Kart Double Dash is to test the thing. Let's see if that AV cord and everything worked. So I can do a Pikmin one soon. Oh, my mushrooms. I lost my mushrooms. Yeah, but if if this works, that means that Pikmin works. It should, it should work. And another GameCube game I like is Super Mario Sunshine, so I really want to play that. I'm gonna play Super Mario Sunshine after all the Pikmin games. I still have to finish Pikmin 2 though. 
I'll do another Pikmin 2 video today. I'm also gonna start working on the script to my first Great Crossover Thoughts On video. Yeah, I have some things I want to get done today. See, this one's also a classic. It has cataquacks, but since this is time trial, it doesn't have the cataquacks. <clears throat> Everything in Mario used to have a bunch of faces on it, but now they don't. Like, all the trees have faces and stuff. Yeah, what other GameCube games do I have? Oh, I have Mario Party 7. I could do a Mario Party 7 video where I play some of the mini games. Me and my sister played that all the time. And we always did a tradition where when we played the mini game stuff, the first one we always did was the fun run. They, they didn't put fun run in the Mario Party Top 100 though. I also have Pac-Man World 2. That, that's also very nostalgic to me. I remember the forest level and the music. This is actually the first time I'm playing an, a Mario Kart game for my channel. I actually own all the Mario Kart games. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have the nin the uh, Mario Kart 64 and Super Mario Kart. They're also on the Wii, so the Wii is also like an NES and Nintendo 64 for me. Also, yeah, that was another game I wanted to play. I was just thinking about the game Kirby 64. That's my favorite Kirby game. Oh, look at that new record. I'll do Mushroom Bridge. There's this one little shortcut thing that's very difficult and I always try to do it. But I'm not too good at it. I also know of the, a shortcut. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that. That was my cat meowing again. That's like the fourth video he's meowed. He's meowed during recording. go here's the bridge ah, I didn't even do it for a second ah, and then there's the wiggler bus when I first when I first played this game it was the when it went when I played it for the very first time I had no I had no knowledge of what anything of Mario was like I didn't know about the old games I didn't know about anything And now I know everything there is to know about all the Mario stuff. It also occurred to me this is the first Mario game I'm doing a thing on, unless Smash counts. I missed the bridge again. when the one character is just getting dragged on the ground. Oh, 
Oh, come on. This happens all the time. Okay, I really want to do the Mario Circuit. A lot of these are classic courses. I can't do the boost thing with the with right timing. Forgot to mention I got something really exciting today. I got a new Teletubbies DVD. I got two Top Wing DVDs to add on to my DVD collection. I should do another DVD collection video or a or a video or a videotape collection video. What do you think? Should I do that? I forgot this course is uh, in the uh, in Mario Kart Wii also. I think now I can say that all the all the systems I use work with the capture card. So I did the a Wii game, Wii U, Switch, GameCube. I can't I can't do I can't do 3DS or DS. So that's why all my DS and 3DS videos look different. I've wanted to do video game videos for a while. Nah, I already have a couple. I was thinking about some of the Game Boy games that I have. I know I've mentioned them in my in another video. I have um I have, I have this one game. Oh, look at that! Another record. Yeah, I, I have this one game called Yoshi's Topsy Turvy. I heard about it. and It sounded interesting, but it is one of the hardest games ever. It's very frustrating. Mushroom City is one of my favorite courses. I mean, just look at it. They need to bring this back in a new Mario Kart game. Yeah, I was saying I have a game called Yoshi's Topsy Turvy is very hard. I think I would consider it more frustrating than Pikmin 2. So they like force you to do certain things, like you have to finish certain levels at a certain time and you have to tilt the screen. It's very difficult. I also have this uh, Piglet's Big Movie game and I remember that was really fun. I think I might have to do a video on that one someday. And I mentioned I have Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think that was the second or third Mario Kart game that I got. Oh, and then here's the secret path here. Oops. Yes, I know I'm going the wrong way. I just wanted to go this way. I remember my Pac-Man World 2 game. It came with this other Pac-Man game and it didn't work and it went missing. It, it has been missing for years. I don't even know if we have it anymore.
I remember finding this YouTube video. It said, it said one hour of nostalgic Nintendo music, and I put and I put a comment saying you had me at the Mario Kart Double Dash character selection screen, and that comment has 98 likes. That's the most likes I've ever received on a comment. Okay, I kind of want to do, I kind of want to do Waluigi Stadium because that, that's also a classic. I know I've said that to the other courses. Yeah, this is a Mario Kart Wii where they let you perform tricks, which is very good for this course. I remember when I first played this game, I didn't know how the items worked, and then I was playing with somebody else and they said you could press X to shoot the items. And then I was and then I was thinking, oh I didn't know this. And I had felt like I discovered something new. Although everybody knows how to use items in Mario Kart. So I'm gonna be- I plan on doing another Pikmin 2 video today because I want to get Pikmin 2 finished. Yeah, we're actually about to- I'm actually gonna get to the- finish the first half so you'll get to see some more cutscenes today. I watched a video on someone- how to defeat all the- different Pikmin bosses and then and there was some I was thinking that looks so easy like they did some stuff that I wish I had figured out before hold on I have to check something want to know something interesting the first Kirby game I ever played was also a racing game that's Kirby Air Ride and that's a that's another game I have I could do a video on that. Maybe I could title this video. I could maybe title this video Back to the Beginning or something, because for me I'm going back to the beginning of the very first game I ever played. The very first Nintendo game, I mean. I've seen a video where I play where I play um another game but it's not a Mario game. Oh look at that, new record. Okay, I'll do Sherbet Land or Sherbert Land. This one's in Mario Kart 8, and you can drive underwater. But in this one, you can't drive underwater. And watch out for the shy guys. Yeah, when doing this course, always watch out for the shy guys. I remember one time me and my sister played, and, there was, and we watched the replay, and there was this one thing we never forgot where Bowser and Bowser Jr. got stuck and were being pushed away by the Shy Guys and it was kind of funny. Oh, I found a shortcut. Yeah, the shortcut has a ramp in the Mario Kart 8 version. Ah, I just told myself watch out for the Shy Guys. I was thinking about those Top Wing DVDs that I got. One of them comes with stickers. They look like they should go on a computer. I was thinking of putting them on my computer. Like right now I could have I could have been looking at Top Wing stickers while playing this game. But I don't have the stickers on there yet.
maybe I could call this video the first, the first Nintendo game I ever played. They just hit the Shy Guys again. I kind of want to do a Luigi circuit now. And then there's the secret path. Watch out for the chain jump. And then there's another secret path. Now, now, now I want to play. Now I want to play Super Mario Sunshine, but I was. I'm not gonna do that yet. I have a whole system of what I want to do. I've played this game so much. I know. I played this game so much. I know where all the secrets are at. I don't know how strong this microphone is, but my cat is meowing again. This is the third or fourth video that he's meowed during it. Yeah, I think he wants to get in my computer studio, but I don't want him in there because there's a bunch of cords in there and he likes to chew cords. Playing, playing this, playing this GameCube game is now making me want to play other GameCube games. Because now I actually want to play Pac-Man World 2 and do the forest area. Yeah, the forest area is the best part. There's like all these colorful trampolines and stuff. And the forest looks very pretty looking. I really shouldn't play too much, but I just see one course after another that I want to do. Like, I want to do the Daisy Cruiser now. Yeah, this one was in Mario Kart 7. Yeah, in Mario Kart 7, this course had so many different changes. And let's not forget about the moving tables. And the secret room. Yeah, in the Mario Kart 7, this became an aquarium. Yeah, I'm using my orange GameCube controller, the one you saw in my studio tour video. It's nice just using a GameCube controller. I can just have it, you just have it wherever I want. Like, I don't need to use a screen like I did. I don't need to tap a screen like I did in Pikmin 3. I don't need a, a Wii, a, a Wii remote to point at stuff and have the sensor mess up all the time. I can just press buttons and that's it. While occasionally using the control stick. And there's also the C stick, which I don't need. Yeah, that was one thing. I heard it with, with the first Pikmin game, they wanted to find some use for the C stick, so, so 
So the, you can control a group of Pikmin. You've seen me do it in Pikmin 2. But there's no C stick in for the new play control version, so I use so I use a different button. Okay, I'll do this one. Those, these are from the special cup, which I didn't unlock till later on. Yeah, I didn't get all this unlockable stuff for a while. Because at the time, I didn't know there was unlockable stuff. And I didn't know how to get it, but now I know. I have so many games I want to do videos on. Yeah, this course is so big it only has two, two laps. Have you watched my Pikmin videos? I'm playing the first three Pikmin games, but I'm doing it in a backwards order. Yeah, Pikmin. For me, Pikmin is my main game. a bunch of Pikmin related videos. All three Pikmin games have a sort of challenge mode so I might do videos of those. Except in Pikmin 3 it's not challenge mode, it's a mission mode. Oh I forgot in this game if you press X and have no items you can you can honk the horn. And the characters do stuff. Oh, another new record. And let's finish off with Rainbow Road. I remember seeing this video and it said hardest courses in Mario games, in Mario Kart games I mean. And it said Rainbow Road for the Mario Kart Double Dash and I was thinking this isn't hard. Every every Mario game has it has their own versions of Rainbow Road. The first one I ever saw is the is the one on Mario Kart DS.
one video that I mentioned that I was going to work on was a, was an Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer video. I was going to show off some of the houses that I really like how they turned out. Maybe I might even work on one in a video. Well, I don't know if you notice with this course down below. I think that's supposed to be Mushroom City, the course I did earlier. So all the courses are connected with each other. Yeah, see, I think it's supposed to be Mushroom City. have a bunch of the Mario Party games. I have I have Mario Party 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have a couple of the DS ones like Mario Party DS and the Top 100 and I have Super Mario Party. Mario Party videos would be fun to do. I also should mention that in my community post I've been working on some new ideas of like some of my own little series of stuff and I thought of some characters so I'll slowly be posting pictures of the characters and showing you all what they look like. Yeah, I might be able to get one out today but we'll see. Also, I said I was gonna do Pikmin 2, but I don't know if I'll have time for that either. Did I break another record? I did broke another record. Alright, I'm gonna quit here. Well there you have it, that was Mario Kart Double Dash. It was nice playing this game again. And it looks like and it looks like the GameCube games work. So yeah, that's But if you like if you like this video, be I'll be doing I have so many plans for other video game videos, so if you like video games, you could consider subscribing if you want to. I also do speed paints and reviews of my favorite my favorite shows and movies, and I have other stuff like I'll do some animations and and stuff. But anyway, thank you for watching. Now go have some fun.